Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. I'm just wanting to do something on this a big 40 centimetre round. Something just really bright and vibrant and uplifting. So I am going to do just that with these lovely bright colours that I have pour, uh, picked here. So I'm just going to go through them with you one by one and we'll just go for it. So remember, I just want the whole canvas filled with something bright and uplifting. So I'm just going to start with the white and I'm going to literally do my wiggles pour all the way. Actually, I might actually spread that white out first before I put the other colours on it. So I'm just going to use my offset spatula and I'm going to just spread it out just like you're icing a cake. So if you're a beginner, um, this is a real nice, easy, relaxing bit. So you don't have to do this because my canvases are all already um, pre-coated with gesso. I think they call it. I call it gesso, but I've got corrected a few times and it's gesso, not gesso. So... Um, I'm not going to worry about the very edges at this point in time, but it just gives me a base coat to pour these lovely, bright, vibrant colours over. And that's a good start. So what about starting with something really nice and bright? That's the um, fluoro orange, the global. So this is a really nice, bright. I'm going to just do the wiggles over it. So it's going to be my bright summer garden and it's going to be a, I'm going to call it new beginnings. So just like springtime um, and all the flowers pop up and new beginnings for those and new beginnings in life, births, deaths, new beginnings. That's what I had just in my mind when I started this. So that's what I'm going with. Rebirth and new beginnings and peace on earth would be really nice. Thank you very much. If anyone's listening up there and could grant us those wishes. Okay, this is the um, bright yellow. So all these bright, vibrant colours are going to pop your socks off, come through and just pop for sure. So this is the cool blue. Put a few contrasting colours in there. There you go. And then I've got some of my Berry Delicious. This is the one I make up out of the um, the darkest red you've got, then add some uh, cool blue or phthalo blue and then a little blob of black if you want it to go like a black cherry type effect. And then I will, um, I was going to pour some gold in there but I think I've got more than enough so I'll just go through with a little bit more white and then this is the part that I just love just tilting it just gentle tilt if you're a beginner just do it nice and easy there's no rush um, like I said before I've got a friend Jilly and she gets really nervous when she pours she uh, tell her you've got to just relax this, what's the worst thing can happen? It's only paint. <laughs> You've just got to relax and enjoy the process for sure. So it's just a nice gentle tilt. So all of those lovely, yummy, bright colors just roll over the top of each other. And it's just making sure going over the edges. So you're coating the edges of your canvas, but you don't have to do that. Remember, it's your art, your rules, your way. Just nice, gentle. 
done these paints a little bit thicker, so that's why they're taking a little bit longer to roll around. I've been doing my paints a little bit thinner of late and I haven't had such good results because it's good doing your paints thin if you're gonna blow them out with a hairdryer, but not so much for this particular technique. Keeping your paints on the little bit thick side actually stops them from going muddy, I find. You don't mix then so much with the other colours. But it's got lots of nice bright colours in there, which is lovely. So yeah, it's taken a long time. So just enjoy the process. So if it slips over really quickly, then you kind of, you know, you may have your paints too thin. But then recenter, re try and recenter the whole thing so you haven't got the paints all sitting at one end. So I'm gonna pop that down like that, and I'm going to um, I'm gonna put a swipe through it. It's just to create a background for my lovely vibrant colours that will pop out. So this is just black. I'll see how I go with the black. Just gonna swipe it. I just use the soft plastic file divider. So I'll just drop the very tip in that black. I've got a bit of a bendy one. Just drag it through nice and slow. I mean, you think, oh, she's lost all the colour there now, but you watch it all come to life. Look at those cells, that's absolutely beautiful. This has got no silicone in it whatsoever. And these particular paints have actually got no flow troll in whatsoever. So that is absolutely amazing results with no flow troll to get those gem-like cells I need to bring the camera down to show you because that is gorgeous. I'll just clean off my swipey tool. I'll just put a little bit more where I've got less, so just the black. Yeah, like I said, this, this one's got absolutely no flow troll, no silicone, so that's pretty good results using the um, global products. Oh, I missed a bit doesn't matter because this is only part of the process so I'm not going to worry about that but that is unbelievably gorgeous cells so bear with me because I know I've had people think oh my goodness what has she done she's ruined it but those colors look at them popping I'm going to just whiz over it with a heat wand. I use a heat wand, plug-in heat wand, rather than butane torch. I find it far safer. And it does the same thing, which is pop air bubbles, and it helps bring up some cells. Uh, I'm going to bring you down because that is so vibrant and like gorgeous gem. Just look at those absolutely vibrant, gorgeous cells in there. That was keeping the whole mixture on the thicker side. I said no silicone no flow troll in these ones so that is an absolutely awesome result so we'll just see if those cells hold their shape because they're going to be the background for some the next stage but just look at that i mean they really do look like gorgeous gems summer garden effect new beginnings let's all have that look at that little colored jelly beans jelly tots radio next stage coming up so let's get on to part two 
this whole thing, uh, it's, I suppose I've, it's been left about 20 minutes now. Um, this could be left exactly as it is. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. It's just that uh, my particular enjoyment is my balloon art. So I'm going to continue with a, a bit of peace. Jilly's balloon art magic. So let's do a bit of balloon art. So I put the balloon in between my two fingers on the belly button part. Uh, the balloon's nice and soft so I can hold on to it. And I'm going to just quite firmly push in the paint and get these gorgeous balloon kisses. Now, this is because I've left this paint for 20 minutes, the balloon kisses stay very much more um, to form. They, they hold their shape so much better. You can absolutely use your balloon kiss to put on another canvas or to. Um, put on um, a silicone sheet so as you can peel them off when they're dry to use them in another art piece. So look at the gorgeous vibrant colours on those. They could definitely be used again but I'm not doing that myself today but you could certainly do that. So there you go. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, what I like to do as well is come in with the smaller balloon. This is just an ordinary size balloon, but I just put it under the water tap and put a bit of water in it just to give it a bit of weight. I only do that with a small balloon uh, because I've done it with a big one and had the whole thing burst and it ruins your whole piece. So I'll just come in the centre. Look at those gorgeous balloon kisses. See, this is bright and uplifting and it's enough to make anyone's day better, I believe. Absolutely gorgeous. Another little thing you can do is if you've got a nice little fat finger like I have, <laughs> is to use your finger in between a cluster of the, oh, where should I do it? In between a cluster of the cells, just dip your finger and it gives you effect like a little tiny kiss, balloon kiss. But it's a finger kiss. There you go. So you can just pop your finger in anywhere to give little effects. So I'll do a couple more smaller ones. So you've got I've got a mixture in there. The balloon kissy that is just the right paint consistency to get a really lovely effect. So it's actually looking like um, fireworks or gorgeous um, starry night but it's bright and vibrant and it's exactly what I was looking to do today so really happy with this one I haven't finished it yet and it hasn't dried but I'm very happy with it very happy with it so you can do as many as the little balloon kisses as you like or you don't have to do any, like I just said. But when you do the balloon kisses, because I've laid all that lovely colour down, it just brings all your colour, pops back through. It all, um, you know, after that swipe, it looked dark. And then it comes to life again with the balloon kissing. And I want to leave some dark areas in it because it just gives it a little bit of, um, I don't know, definition or depth should I say but yeah those balloon kisses certainly bring look at the colour it brings back through they're gorgeous and they're really fun to do they definitely is art therapy for sure so easy peasy lemon squeezy I think that is just beautiful as it is really happy with that it's bright and vibrant and giving that as a gift is going to make somebody's day um, that you've gone to the effort. So I'm really happy with that. I want to thank you guys for joining me. You're so special to me. My regular viewers, I call them my sticky viewers that send me, have um, just been filling my heart with so much emotion lately because knowing what uh, kind of things we've been going through. So people that watch my channel know. And I just want to thank all of the well-wishers and the uh, lovely cards I've been sent. So I just want to thank you so much. I appreciate you beyond belief. 
Um, so thank you guys. Until tomorrow, my sweetness, I'll say bye for now.